This girl has been on steroids for as long as she can remember. I've had eczema pretty much my whole life. I was very much teased about it from a very young age. I had been treating my eczema with steroids for just as long as I can remember. When I got to about 25, I started realizing the steroids just weren't working anymore. Um, I would wake up with these like lupus kind of rashes on my face. My skin was weeping, red hot, raw, I could barely leave the house. And at this time, I was doing things like covering up mirrors, smashing mirrors when I was upset because I just found it really hard to look at myself. Having kind of like body dysmorphia to who you are, I started going into something called topical steroid withdrawal. So when I first started using steroids, my skin reacted like anyone else's. It, the rash went away and then it would come back where that carried on for years and years. I tried other medications in between, but always went back to steroids until they just eventually did not work. Daisy's eczema was so bad that hospital staff often mistook her for a burn victim. Anytime I went to the hospital, they would think I was a burn victim. They worked for maybe an hour, and then my skin would leak and ooze, and then it would cause even more problems with doctors not believing you and supporting you. At the time I was at university, I had to quit university, and I had to move back in with my parents, where I was pretty much cared for. I would spend hours a day in the bar because it was the only place that wasn't painful. I would wake up in the morning and kind of like peel myself off the pillow and there would be like marks where I'd slept. My life stopped for maybe like three years. And that was when I made the decision to come out to Thailand and have a new treatment. It was a lot to juggle when being so sick and so in pain and having quite intense thoughts of things like suicide while trying to manage being a normal person. My mental health was terrible. According to Daisy, skin conditions like eczema are often overlooked by society, which is why she hopes to raise awareness and education on digital platforms. I think autoimmune diseases like eczema are definitely overlooked in society. Having a skin condition is so common, it's just hidden by society. You don't see it in magazines, it's not attractive commercially, and it's not spoken about when there are lots of people suffering. It has a lot of mental health implications as well. If you are going through something quite similar, lean on the people around you. Sharing my story was probably the best thing for me. I went online and one day I started sharing. Suddenly I had found a massive community of people. Just having someone who gets it is really great in a world that can feel very isolating sometimes.